Good morning, Aya. Good morning, Mommy. Okay, so today is your day, I think, eight years and three days. All right, so we've got this book called... Too Perfect. All right. Did you enjoy reading this book? Yeah. All right. So, and Mommy really like about this, this at, towards the end of this book. Can you show? There are some... Can I read the story, Mama? Okay, very quickly. Eh, from the beginning? Yeah, okay. Have you ever wished to, you could be someone else? I have. I wished I was Kala. Then, I'll, then all my problems would go away like magic. Poof! No more frizzy hair and freckles. I'd have cool clothes instead of boring hand-me-downs. I'd get straight as instead of a bunch of B's and C's. I'd be a better me, smarter, thinner, prettier, and I'd have more friends. Mom always said, Maisie, you're perfect just the way you are. But she didn't know, but she didn't know perfect. She didn't know Carla. In class, I watch Carla all the time. If I looked hard enough, maybe I'd find the secret to being perfect. I then I live happily ever after, just like Kyla. Okay. A few weeks ago, my teacher Miss Kim assigned Kyla to be my science project partner. So on Monday after school, we got together at Kyla's house to start working on our project. What's that? She asked when she saw the plate I was holding. Brownies, I said. My mom baked them for a study treat. Do you want one? No thanks, I've already eaten. I've already eaten. While we studied, I ate a brownie. Every time I took a bite, Kyla watched me. Are you sure you don't want a brownie? I asked her. I already told you I had a snack, she snapped back. Besides, my mom says eating sweets make you fat. Did Kyla think I was fat? I put my brownie down and didn't take another bite. On Thursday, Mom dropped me off at Kala's soccer game so we could work on our project afterwards. I watched Kala run up and down on the soccer field. She was so fast. If I played like her, I bet those girls would love to have me on their team. Pass the ball, Kala shouted at Anna, her teammate. Pass it now! Anna did as Kala told her. But when Carla finally kicked the ball, she missed the goal. This is your fault, Carla hissed at Anna. If you had passed the ball to me sooner, I would have had a perfect shot. It's just a game, Carla. We're supposed to be having fun, said another teammate. I'm not here for fun. I'm here to win, she replied as she stomped off the field. Hey, Carla, I shouted, running after her. You were great out there. Not great enough, she mumbled as she looked at her dad. But you really tried to make that goal. What good is trying if you don't win? That's when I stopped thinking that being perfect wasn't easy or fun. On Sunday, Carla came over so we could finish up our project every time she wrote this a sentence, she would erase it. Carla, what are you doing? I asked her. I'm not happy with the ending. It's not good enough. I looked over her shoulder. But I like what you wrote. What's wrong with it? Everything, she said, crumpling up the report, report in her hands. Carla, stop it, I yelled. I grabbed the papers from her. Our report is due tomorrow. You don't understand, Carla said, said Carla. And she started to cry. I tried to make her feel better, but I wasn't much help. Mama overheard Kyla sniffling. I asked her if she was okay. I'm, I'm just coming down with a k -k cold. I could tell Mom didn't believe her, but she left us alone anyway. After Carla went home, Mom asked me why she'd been crying. I explained what happened with our report. Everything Carla does have to be perfect. 
Too perfect, if you ask me, I grumbled. Then I told Mom how angry Carla got at the soccer game. I also overheard Carla saying that she was on a diet so she could be super thin like her big sister. I can't believe that Carla thinks she's fat. I said, I'd be so happy if I looked like her. Mom was quiet after that. I asked Mom if she was ever disappointed in me because I wasn't thin, smart, or pretty as she'd like me to be. Honey, I love you for who you are, she answered, not for who you think I want you to be. Life isn't perfect. We aren't perfect, Mom added. But, trying, but by trying new things and learning from our mistakes, we can become better at whatever we choose to do. Maisie, do you remember when you took swimming lessons? Uh-huh, I was scared at first, but then the more you practice, the stronger you got. And how I love to swim, I said. <coughs> Are you happy doing what you love to do? Yeah. Do you know what makes Carla happy? Mom asked. I thought hard about for a few minutes, but I couldn't close to perfect as anyone I knew. But I couldn't think of one thing that made her happy. Mom told me that lots of kids and even grown-ups put pressure on themselves or felt pressured by others or act or look a certain way. Being happy doesn't come from being perfect, she said. It comes from trusting and accepting who you are, mistakes and all. On Monday, Carla didn't come to school. I waited until after class to hand our project. When Miss Kim asked me why I was all crumpled, I told her what had happened the night before. She asked more questions. I didn't want to answer because I was afraid of getting Carla in trouble. Maisie, said Miss Kim, I'm just trying to understand how, a, how big of a problem this is for Carla. So I told her what I had told my mom. You obviously care about Carla. Thanks for letting me know. She said, said Miss Kim, I'll meet with the school counselor to see what we can do to help Carla. When I came home from school that day, I told Mom my talk with Miss Kim. She was glad that I shared my worries with my teacher. The mo then Mom suggested we have a pro a pro Appreciation. Appreciation time. time. Once a week, where we take turns at dinner table saying one thing we appreciate about each other. Let's celebrate who we are instead of complaining about who we aren't, she explained. Appreciation time has helped me a lot. Hearing my family say how much they appreciate my feels. I appreciate me. Really feels, good. Yeah. I always like seeing how happy my family and friends are when I tell them what I like and respect about them. I know that I'm not perfect, but that doesn't mean I can't do good things. Mum says no one can do a better job being lazy than me. Do you know what? I think she's right. Yeah. Nice story. Nice picture. I like this picture. I like it too. Mm, okay. So, where was the question? This one. All right. All right. So, can I read the question to you? Yep. Okay. Um. Says I can't believe she thinks she's fat. I'd be so happy if I looked like her. Have you ever wanted to trade places with somebody else? No. Nope. Why not? Because I'm happy for who I am. Hmm. Do you think everyone has something that they don't like about themselves? Hmm. Some people do yeah. because they put too much pressure on themselves. Ah. Kyla wanted to be skinny like her big sister. Do you think TV shows, movies, and the magazines also tell us about? 
how girls and boys should look? No. Oh yeah? Okay. No? TV and the magazine. Well, you don't watch TV, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, do okay. Do most people look the way in look that way in real life, like appears on TV? Mm -mm. Uh, does being rich, smart, thin, pretty, or handsome make a person happy? No. Why not? Because <coughs> my. My friend called Eliza, I mean Deanne, she's really like um, thin, pretty, and she's rich, and uh, she has her own beauty laugh, uh, but she, in P1 she was really bossy, mm. and, and, <coughs> and my friend Callum, She's a bit plumpy, and she's not that good in English, and uh, 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 her, she's like, um, sometimes a bit bossy, but she's a really good friend to me. Mm-hmm. That's good. Hmm, okay, next question. I'm not here for fun. I'm here to win, Kyla said. Was Kyla right to blame Anna, her teammate, when Kyla kicked the ball and missed the goal? No. Why not? Because Kyla told Anna to pass the ball to her, and, and Anna did as she was told, but... Kyla just kicked the ball, and maybe she was the one that accidentally did it. Mm -hmm. Missed the goal, but if if she's like blaming others, people won't start like to blame with her and being in her team because others will br blame them. Mm -hmm. She'll blame them. Yeah, it's not fun anymore, huh? Mm -mm. Um. If you didn't win a game or weren't the best at some activity, would you like to, would you want to quit? No. Why not? Because, um, like for example, I lose in a game and, and, um, I lose, right? Mm. But I'm still happy because we had fun. We lose and we win, that's why it makes the game fun. Yeah, that's right. Um, okay, so that's like similar to the next question. Which do you think is more important, winning or having fun? Having fun. Yeah. Um, Kyla was close to perfect as anyone I knew, but I couldn't think of one thing that made her happy. Do you think Kyla was more worrying about losing the game or disappointing her dad? Disappointing her dad. Yeah. Maybe the expectation was too high, huh? Mm hmm And she always wanted to please mm. others. Is it okay to make, make mistakes? Of course. We make mistakes to learn. If we don't have mistakes, we can't learn. And we need to learn our mistakes and move on. That's right. What important lessons have you learned from your past mistakes? Uh, forgetting to not suck my thumb anymore because I'm eight years old. And um, riding too fast on my bicycle. Ah, too fast. And, and, and you tripped over and hurt my chin. chin. And um, forgetting to respect ah. a bit sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes I get a bit too mad. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Any other mistakes? You learned from mistakes? Okay. I forgot the rest. Because <laughs> I'm eight years old already. <laughs> okay. 
We need to celebrate who we are instead of complaining about who we aren't. Why do you think people tend to focus more on what's wrong with them instead of what's right with them? Um, because they just want to take all the bad stuff off of them and, and be, become really perfect. Mm. Which is more important, what you do or how you look? Um, what you do. Mm. What do you do, what, what do you appreciate about your friends and the family? Um, okay, what do you appreciate about mommy? Uh, she is kind and happy and positive. And she never thinks of negative thoughts. Uh, she learns from her mistakes. And she's really funny. Um, share your thought, okay, if saying it out loud is uncomfortable for others, what other ways can you let them know? Mm. Well, what? Okay, you're, you're comfortable just saying it out loud, right? Hmm? That's okay. That's the end. Bye! Eight years and three days. <laughs>